friend Mark was has, uh, <laughs> has shot a little venison before, haven't you? Uh, I have harvested, yes. Harvested is the word. Harvested. Not shot, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's, it's all a matter of presenting it properly. Yeah, good so food, though, right? It is. It's very good, very lean. It's very good for From you. Arby's? Have you? No, I have no, not. No, you haven't tried it from I've not Arby's? been hunting at Arby's and will <laughs> plan on not doing Harvesting that. Arby's? Yeah, that's right. Hey, uh, right now, it's a great day to be outside doing anything. The only problem is, is it's still pretty hot in parts of our viewing area. We're looking at low 80s, but it's October. We really should be cooler than this. 80 now for Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. Aniston now at 83 degrees. Winds out of the north at 6. Now, as we've gone through the course of the day, we've had a frontal boundary that has been slowly pushing through the state. That has made a difference as far as temperatures compared to, say, Hamilton at 73 to 83 now in Alex City, 82 in Alabaster, Aniston at 83 as well. So these are numbers that uh, are more reflective of what we would expect the end of summer. But either way, there's not a real problem with heat index values because there's just not a whole lot in the way of moisture. This is drier air that continues to settle in, so that keeps all of the showers well to the south and to the east of us. So I expect we're in pretty good shape for the rest of tonight. Temperatures will have a chance to cool down some, though. Look at some of the numbers into the 50s, especially across the northern tier of counties. There are a few stray showers for Friday afternoon, but I expect that that moisture is going to stay far enough to our east that it will only stay over Georgia and not be a problem for us. But we could get some of the cloud cover associated with it, and temperatures will begin to cool down after we get past the weekend. But between now and then, you'll see on Saturday, our model's trying to bring a little bit of a, um, a rain chance back in here. So it's going to be pretty warm for the Auburn game. And that, by the way, that's a 2.30 kickoff, and we're looking at temperatures right around 90. And for those of you headed over to Alabama for the Bama game, homecoming, it's going to be 89 for tailgating. Temperatures into the low 80s with eventually mid and upper 70s after the sun sets and things have a chance to cool off. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. Mostly sunny, still hot, 87, and we're not done yet. We're still going to continue to warm up as we head into the weekend. How about 89 on Saturday? I'm keeping us dry right through the weekend. Chance of a couple of showers slipping back in here for late Sunday, and that would be more so Sunday night into early Monday. Temperatures, though, finally getting back to a routine area that we should be. I say finally, but for the first time in a while, we'll see temperatures that are more reflective of fall. Looks so nice. All right. Tom